if you want at some point. Yeah, film, film. Yeah, yeah, I am, I am. So there we have it. Yo, what's good, guys? Welcome back. I know it's been a while. Truth is, life comes at you fast, man. I've been busy and we had a great summer of herping and I was so happy to share that with you. But I just, you know, had a lot of things on my cards and it was very hot, so it was very difficult to get out. But here we are on this brisk late summer's day going to uh, look for some reptiles. Don't know if we'll find anything. If we do, well, you'll see it. Oh my God. That is terrifying. There is a giant bull in the woods. <laughs> that ain't good. Uh, a huge bull. Is that supposed to be there? That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> so here's the area I kind of wanted to get to. Um, not too much of this habitat down here in South Wales, but it's beautiful. Well, would you look at that? Me and Marlo did it. Me and my little brother, we came out here to a spot we didn't even know that adders existed. And for anyone that doesn't know, adders have a very, very low detectability rate. You can be in areas where they exist and it can take many surveys to find them. But the weather felt amazing. We didn't have much time, but we persevered, worked hard, hit all the areas that looked good. And then crossing the path right in front of us is this young, I would say male due to the black zigzag adder. Not the most beautiful one I've ever seen by any stretch. But, oh, hello. Bit of attitude from you. Look at that. Can never get tired of seeing these and it's been weeks. Whoa, weren't you know, like, since I was in Germany that I last saw one. And it's always great to see them at a new spot where you don't know where to look. My mum is calling us from the car because, like I said, this is just a quick stop by before we head back to London. Okay, like I said, our mum is calling us. So I'm going to just get out of the way and let it cruise off because I did sort of stand around it and forced it to stay still. But I'll try and get some footage of this amazing animal cruising off into the bushes here. Where hopefully it will never encounter humans again. Okay, wrapping up, me and Marlo are just climbing back over the gate to get back to the car. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just stoked, eh? it's so cool. Adders have such low detectability, and even in places where you know they occur, they can take multiple surveys to turn up. But here we are, showed up at a Heathland restoration site where I wasn't even sure they existed. There's no signs, no nothing. It just looked like good habitat, and we got one in such a short time. You know, weather was great, I knew that. I knew we had a good chance and we, it paid off. Me and Marlo always seem to have good luck searching together, so I need to bring them along more often, but that's it. Thanks for watching this segment. This will either be the end of a video or it will cut to a new one, but I'll see you soon. Yo, what's up? Welcome back. We're here, got George in the background and we've got out going to one of my favorite reptile spots in the whole of the UK. George, have you ever seen a wild snake before? No. Right, so there we go. Um, excuse the state of us, we were out drinking last night, so we're a little bit, you know, effed up this morning. But uh, it's a perfect day, I think it's gonna be good. And you know, despite this being one of my favorite places to look for snakes and one of the most successful places, I've never filmed here. You know, in all the time I've been filming, I always went out to the other spots. But there's lots of stuff to flip here, which is gonna be fun, and I think it's gonna be a good day. And uh, yeah, it uh, could turn out to be great.
All right, George is on his way and we've reached the start. This time of year, I mean, I've never been um, past like April or May to this place, but it's very overgrown, um, but I can still see that the paths are existing. So let's get going. First item to flip is right here. There's a look at that slow worm underneath, George. So aside from the ants, which are just harmless, there's a really big slow worm, one of the most chunky slow worms I've seen, which is a legless lizard, and another one tucked in over there. I was expecting that today might be a good day for these because of the weather, but let me um, just turn this off and get the ants off my hand. So there we go, what a beautiful slow worm. Have you ever seen one of these before, George? No, never in my life. Well, first thing we looked under, two reptiles underneath, and this is a chunky one with... Yeah, females are the ones with the dark, like, flanks, you see. It's kind of pale on top with dark along the side. Whereas the males tend to be a bit more uniform uh, brown with blue speckles. But I'm going to set it right back where it was. And that's it. I'm sure we'll see many more of them. Right, so seconds after we just lifted those things I showed you, just turned this corner here and there was an adder sitting right there. And it shot off straight away no chance for me to get my phone out or video it. I only spotted it when it started moving. Catch up. Near the other side of the They're chilling out in the open. It's a slower party today. That's like, we're going up towards 15 already and we've only flipped a few boards. So two adders so far, zero on video, and about 15 slow worms, all on video. I knew this was gonna be the bloody case, but we've seen so many reptiles, the adders are out, but because it's so overgrown at this time of year, it's impossible to get them on video. But um, we're gonna go up to the pond, chill around there, have some food, and then come back and see if we can find some more in the late afternoon. Peace. Holy shit, guys, there's an adder right there in the spot where I heard they hadn't been recorded for years. I'm letting it go. I'm letting, you can see the adder cruising off into here. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly explain what happened because the video I filmed about it came out bad due to the wind. But basically, on the way up to the picnic site is another flipping site. Usually there's just slow worms and lizards here. I had never seen an adder there before, but I'd heard that they had been recorded there but very, very many years ago and not seen since. And I was just flipping casually and bam, there was an adder. Didn't have my camera ready, didn't have George even near me. I was holding the tin with one hand, didn't manage to film until it was already heading off basically, which is a shame, but it was still great to see. All right, we were just having a picnic under this tree by the pond, but we have been surrounded in the time that we have been here. <laughs> when we started, there was none of them here. And now we've got to go right through the middle. I was expecting there to be a baby one at some point. Yeah, film, film. Yeah, yeah, I am, I am. So there we have it. Do you want me to hold the uh, thing? No, 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 it's fine. We'll just observe it. Get a bit closer. Get some close-up footage. We'll just let this one cruise off for sure. But that is, um, I think, the same in the individual I was telling you I flip under here quite a bit. Sort of youngish, I'd say like maybe three, four years old, this adder. Um, and I think, because of the jet black, that this is a, actually a male one. But, like I said, I'm actually really not that great at telling them apart. Go in close. Get some nice close footage of it cruising off. There it goes. Well, that's exactly what we wanted to see. I told nice. you to... Uh... <laughs> High five me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Let's nice. go. You got to see one like yeah. actually like no, a big one sick, properly man. up close. Let's fucking go. That is fucking huge. Keep your eyes on the edge. I'm like paranoid that there's going to be like a tiny little adder that we haven't like seen. <laughs> just like I said earlier, it's juve that all the juvenile adders have just hatched out, and there we have the first actual like hatchling adder I've seen of the year. Tucked down so in how there. How would that one be? Uh, like a month, maybe max. 
I'd say maximum a month just because tiny. this little this little <laughs> codger is just a tiny little baby. And they have a very absolutely terrified, I think. I would indeed say I was literally just about to say let's make sure we keep our eyes out because the babies are tiny and can be very hard to see. Spots it straight away. And there it is. Wow. That's incredible. <laughs> don't put it down, don't put it down. Let's just let him cruise off and get some of that on film. It's great, that means there's, they've bred around here this year and the gravid females have indeed given birth to a whole new generation of cute little baby adders. That's so sick, we didn't even yeah. spot it for a second and there it was. <laughs> okay, let's go, George. Nice, man. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Things have really picked up after that picnic break. We just got two adders in about what uh two minutes yeah, maybe yeah max minute, yeah. i mean just up there is the spot where we saw that one and that yeah. was just there so and um yeah said so that that's probably one of the smallest adders i've ever seen probably less than a month old so cute so cute oh all right i'm a bit sweaty because we've been hiking a lot but we're going to call it a day now after we flipped those two adders we went around flipped the rest of the boards nothing i'm sure we could see more but we've seen five adders today five on your first yeah. outing yeah no you see that many like the first time you go out is insane yeah he's so lucky imagine that five adders on your first outing we saw at least 30 slow worms no probably a 40 yeah and at least like 20 something lizards so all in all like i said when we were driving out it's a perfect day for reptiles we got really lucky and uh, i'll either catch you in the next episode or whatever i fill out the rest of this video with okay so cutting to a new day I was just out on a walk with my friend Rish and down through there you see that zigzag pattern. That's our first adder of the day. I didn't really um, plan on filming any vlogs today but this one is sitting, I mean, sitting completely still with me pretty close to it. So if you can try to creep round, uh, yeah. this is the male adder, quite dark on the flanks but that, that jet black, you, that jet black zigzag is the giveaway. Okay, so oh, okay. Rish spotted two adders basking together, which I didn't get my phone out for. But walking in this dense area here, I've just spotted what's almost like a jet black adder through here, which I did not expect to see because jet black ones are pretty, sorry, sorry, pretty damn rare in the UK. And all of a sudden it's turned into an adder party. We've seen four in the last like 10, less than 10 minutes. Oh, it's beautiful. This is kind of small, but I can see the head looking right at me and it is there is still like a faint pattern but it's almost like completely black which is incredible so that was a really cool thing to see um seeing the black one i mean i've seen maybe 40 adders in the uk this year and that's the first actually melanistic one i've seen i've seen a few around here which had a lot of black creeping up the flanks but that's the first one that would actually qualify as melanistic and it was still very young like you probably can't see in the video but that was really small and they lose pattern the melanistic ones the older they get so that one will probably turn completely black by the time it's the same size as the ones we've already seen of which two were basking just brown there so we're going to go over there in a minute and see if they've come back out because they kind of crept into the bushes so we were actually just chilling thinking it got a bit too hot but i kind of wandered off little bit away from Rish and spotted a decent size adult female. This looks like a hibernaculum site right there. So there'll probably be a few more around here come the later months in the year. But this one's being quite nice and letting us get relatively close. You can see it's got its ribs outstretched in the middle, which is why it looks so wide. But pretty much all the females have given birth by this time of year, so it's not gravid. It sort of slowly, I mean, it hasn't noticed us, but it hasn't like freaked out and gone away since we've been very slow. 